Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm really excited to announce this new script I've been working on to get uh, all the Overwatch animations into Source Filmmaker. I've been working on it for the past few weeks now. It's finally getting shaping up there. Um, so yeah, this is actually a script that lets you put any Overwatch animation into as Source Filmmaker, basically. Um, now, not every animation is currently in the game. Right now, there's about 250 animations. Um, if you're watching this video, then you probably have those 250 animations right now. If you're watching in the future, there's going to definitely be way more animations coming out as soon as I can get everything sorted out here. Um, so right now, I have animations for Genji, Junkrat, Lucio, Farah, Reinhardt, 76, Tracer and Zenyatta. Um, like I said, there's plenty more uh, plenty more of these coming. Um, I just haven't gotten around to them. Um, there won't be animations for Winston or uh, Diva's Mech or Bastion unfortunately. Um, we can't, I can't get those their bone uh, structures are so complicated that unfortunately I can't, I can't there's no way I could get those in uh, when working properly. Um, but right now, as you can see here in the background, we do have a lot of animations already going here. Uh, we have run cycles for every, every class, all their play of the game intros, idle animations, dance animations, even some animations that actually aren't in the game yet, but I found in the files, like that tracer dance animation. Um, yeah, so let me show you real quick how this works and, uh, yeah get started all right so starting out here you're gonna want to choose your favorite overwatch character um, I've got a few here as an example just to kind of show off some different things to help you get started with this rig um, so I've got Lucio Tracer and Zenyatta here um, you're gonna want to make sure before you do anything that all these characters are in proper T pose now Tracer is the best example of this um, all characters should look exactly or as close as possible to this to this formation as you can get. So you can see here Lucio is a little bit straight footed or straight legged here. So I'm gonna just branch those out a little bit, and then we've got Zenyatta, and his is completely he has a completely different pose. So you're gonna want to bring those legs down and just kind of make him more of a T pose because the way that this works is uh, it's all pulled off of a single rig and that rig is only rigged with uh, this default pose as as its uh, default so you can't use so there's no other way to uh, if you try doing it without without doing any of this stuff then it's just gonna look completely messed up that everything's gonna be broken and yeah we don't want that so make sure all these all your characters are in a proper t-pose uh, next thing you're going to want to do is look at the body type now there's two different there's usually two different types i've built rigs for two different sets of naming conventions here the first one is the body now see there's there's currently a bip if it has a bit prefix in the uh, name then you're going to want to use the animate the underscore bit animations for that model um, I also have one called valve biped if we go to Lucio here you'll notice that he has a valve biped uh, naming structure so in order for that to work you're gonna have to load up the valve biped for him um, so you just go to the rig and it's it's as easy as this you just go to rig choose the type of bones so either bip either gonna be bip or valve biped so for Lucy, I'm going to go Valve by Pet. It creates a new invisible model, as you can see here. Um, they just show the bones. And uh, you're just going to want to right click on that. Go to Import Sequence. And you're going to have a huge list of all the animations. Now, this isn't limited to anything. Uh, you can have any animations from any character on any other character that you want. If you want Lucio doing a uh, let's see here. A Soldier 76 run. 
then you can have him doing his loader 76 round. It's completely puppeted and all of the rotations are local to the rig itself. So you can do any types of variations. It's very powerful. And if you want, you could even do this. Let me see, let me get a model here. So I'm gonna grab the scout um, to show you that this actually works on any model whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't have to be an Overwatch model. If you want the scout doing Overwatch animations, you can you can have the scout doing Overwatch animations. Uh, all the Team Fortress 2 models use a BIP underscore format, so you're going to want to use that for them if you want to use Team Fortress 2. Um, and you just right click on them and just go to the uh, BIP animations. And then you can just import sequences directly to them as well. So we can just have this, let's see here, let's have the scout do... The butt pose now yeah sometimes you might have everything's not going to be perfect for every possible rig just because of the way that the bone structure is and everything like that it's going to be as close as possible to it most of the time though you're going to find it works pretty well um, his feet are kind of messed up here because of the way Lucio's feet I guess are slanted so their rotations are different um, but those are easily fixed and I'm going to show you here in a second how we can fix those up But yeah, you can have any character doing any animation That you want So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very powerful honestly you can I mean this alone adds 250 animations to about any valve biped model on its own which I think is really great for any animators or poster makers or anything you want to do really uh, you can do that um, so yeah that's basically how you set up the rig uh, next up I'm going to show you how you can make that rig and modify it um, so that we can fix some of these weird issues that happen uh, with the with the bone structure on the current rig all right so I've loaded up Widowmaker here as a, an example of how to make some modifications um, so as you can see here, her hips, if you look closely, are kind of messed up. Uh, you'll notice that she's standing that way, but her hips are going this way. Uh, that's due to the way the Overwatch uh, skeleton actually works. She doesn't, the, they actually have separate hip bones that are for animations. Um, and unfortunately, the way most actual um, valve biped uh, models are set up is that they just have a single pelvis bone and that controls everything um, so unfortunately because of that her hips are way out of place and wonky um, but the good news is that we can actually fix that with this rig so uh, if you go down here to the bottom you'll notice that there's two rigs called rig overwatch anims and rig overwatch anims valve biped um, so this current rig is a bip animation or BIP uh, naming structure and so as a result I've put the BIP uh, puppeting script on them so what you're gonna want to do is just slap on the um, overwatch uh, rig overwatch anims which is the BIP version I gotta actually add BIP to that name to make sure it's very clear to people um, once you've done that make sure though uh, you actually do put it on the host don't put that script on don't put the rig on the actual model because that's actually just going to mess everything up and probably break who knows how many things. Um, but once you have that rig on here, you'll notice that the actual valve or the actual rigging structures changed. Um, it's going to be out of place, unfortunately, because of the scaling that Overwatch uses. Um, it uses I'm using Soldier 76. He's a nice middle ground between the big and the small characters, so it works pretty well. Unfortunately, uh, because Widowmaker is a lot smaller than him, he's going to be way, his skeleton is going to be much, much bigger. Um, that doesn't affect the actual animations, it just makes him kind of big. Um, so that's no problem though. We can just go to over here if you need to, to just select the right bone. See, it says it's currently in her stomach, but it should be down there. Anyway, um, so I'm going to grab her hips here and just rotate them to fit the angle. 
that she should be at. And just like that, I've actually just fixed her fixed trip animation. Um, this actually works. This does not overwrite any existing animations when you do this. It actually just blends it in with the existing animation. So if you want to make any modifications to any of her bones, um, don't, do, <laughs> don't do what I just did. Um, it's going to be laggy. You're going to want to wait to bake the bones first before you actually fix those. Um, but yeah, you can actually make um, tons of modifications if you'd like. Um, this is kind of a bad example because she's standing so still. But if I load up another animation really fast here, if we just put her down, we can give her any animation. Let's just give her, let's just give her a dance animation from. I like that tracer dance animation. Uh, let's put give her the tracer dance animation. So she's dancing. Um, yeah, you'll notice if he went through the floor again. That's the scaling. Um, you can just mod just bring her up a little bit and she'll be fine. Um, so if I put the rig on this one, on her, um, so she's still doing the same thing, nothing's changed. Uh, however, if you want to make modifications, say you want to, I don't know, bring her down to the floor a little bit here, you can just select her, bring her down, and you'll notice the everything is the exact same. Um, everything is a floating modification layer, so everything is being adjusted at the same rate. Nothing is going to be overwritten, so you can play, you can do whatever really you want to make your modifications. If you notice her hands a little bit messed up there, uh, you can usually fix that. That actually, that specifically is going to have to be fixed when you actually bake the animation to the rig, though. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can, this, this, this lets you so you can make any modifications that you want you want to bring her up there just it doesn't matter what you do um, yeah so once you're ready once you've made your modifications and you're all right are ready to uh, bake it down I uh, just got to right click her make sure you detach the rig from the puppet script first it's gonna take a second here and um, yeah so you detach the rig uh, once it's detached, you're just going to want to, you can either bake the constraints here. Uh, that sometimes works. It's not 100% reliable. If you'd like, you can use it that way. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, you can just go to rig, detach, rig, detach all. And that's going to remove it. Uh, it is going to take a little bit, depending on how much animation data there is to bake. So this process could take anywhere up to about a minute to two minutes, maybe a minute and a half, probably. Um, to actually bake all that animation data down. So I'll be right back while I wait for that to finish. All right, I'm back. And actually, that only took about 30 seconds to actually bake that animation. Um, so once the animation is baked down to the rig, you can actually just delete the puppet itself. And you'll notice that her actual rig now has all the animation with the modifications that we made. Uh, once you've got her in this state, you can do whatever else you want with her. Um, if you want to fix that weird hand issue, you could probably fix that with the helper bones on this specific model. Like I said, nothing's going to be perfect, unfortunately. That's just the way, there's just so many different ways that uh, people decided to rig up these models. It's impossible to actually account for all of the different rigging. Um, but you can fix her up however you want. And you could get a really good end result. You just with maybe about 10 to 15 minutes of just cleanup. Um, so yeah, that's going to be about it. Um, I just have to let you know that if you're currently planning on using this rig with the May, the McCree, uh, the Mayor McCree models released by Metz, um, unfortunately those aren't going to work. Uh, because the way that Metz decided to rig the character, he's only got three, he's only got about three um, bone actual arm joints on here. And I did somewhat successfully attempt to get the motion data transferred however it's not it doesn't look good so there's no really way to actually get may right now or mccree um unless someone ports those over which they may in the future go ahead and check the workshop if you're watching this video sometime in the future um see if anyone's ported an official version but as soon as these characters are ported to a valve biped structure as well they'll work with this rig perfectly 
Um, as a result of them not working right now, though, I'm not going to include them in the initial release. I'm going to be focusing more on the characters that are already in the game. Um, Mercy actually will work. You have to grab her from the Gary's Mod Workshop, though. Uh, let me take a quick look here. Uh, if you go to the Gary's Mod Workshop, you can actually find uh, a player model version of her. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, so here we go. So this model here, uh, this will actually work with the rig. Um, just don't, if you're planning on getting the one from sort of SFM Lab or anywhere from METS, um, because of the rigging structure, it's not going to work. But this one will definitely work with the current rig structure, uh, current uh, puppet script. So yeah, that's going to be about it, guys. Um, I'm going to be adding more animations as the updates progress. Uh, there's no time frame on it, but it'll be pretty fast after it's released. Um, let me know if you guys want uh, which animations you definitely want in the game, and I'll make sure that those are in there. Uh, like I said, right now it's about 250 animations. There's probably going to be at least one more character I'm going to add. Probably a uh, Reaper. Uh, his animations are going to be in before. So yeah, that's going to be about it, guys. Um, let me just give some quick shout outs here. Um, Lord Aardvark for the actual puppeting script itself. He actually wrote basically the entire script. Um, I just made some modifications to it to fit the Overwatch characters and uh, actually work with the current model I'm using. Um, but he basically did all the work on that, so he deserves all the credit for this for this rig. It's actually amazing. Um, so yeah, go uh, support him if you want. Um, yeah, he, he does great work for Source Filmmaker Rigging. He's actually really good on that stuff. Um, also, I have to add uh, a demon, uh, id demon, on the face punch uh, forms. He actually was the one who let the. Uh, he's actually the one who decrypted all the files and was able to get a working animation extractor for Overwatch. So without him, this project wouldn't even be possible. So special thanks to him. Thank you for making that. Um, I did all I did was really port. All he did was really just port the uh, skeleton to. Put all of them into one big skeleton and then just had a script that put it in that's really all i did but yeah it's big big shout out and props to those guys it wouldn't be possible none of this would have been possible without uh the amount of work those guys put into their their scripts uh all right well thank you very much guys for watching and i'm really excited to see what the community is going to make up with this stuff because you can make posters you can do anything it's going to just make everything so much easier for source Soul maker and with any luck, we'll have the prop back soon <laughs> if I want to get around to pointing those. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching again, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.